Good evening and welcome to my shop again. This is Bruce and um, we've got a, uh, a subsea tool from a MWD. Um, it's a uh, uh, it's a bronze a bronze unit and, and it's got a it's from a it's a valve body a hydraulic valve body. It's got a, a broken bolt and a broken um, easy out in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to drill out with a um, with a tongue, with a uh, carbide um, uh, four fluter. We're, we're, we're drilling it out, and then once we've drilled out that uh, easy out, we're then going to uh, drill out the the screw. We'll try and uh, try and drill that screw out and re-tap it. I'm not quite sure of the thread, but I think it's somewhere around about the um, uh, quarter inch. Uh, it's the the drilling that they've done to for the uh, easy out is not quite in centre, so but I'm on centre of the easy out the moment so I've started to and I'll carry on drilling that out I'll just get some of my trusty liquid and we'll fire up the mill again and we'll drill that out and we'll continue on from there Some of these easy outs are uh, easy to drill and some of them are a lot harder um, and a lot of care of course because they, um, they aren't uh, always hardened through in a homogeneous manner. See when we've got through it, we'll, we'll have no more of that metal swarf. It's still coming up at the moment, and I'm at the end of that um, of the reach with this uh, this little fella. Um, so we'll move on to a move on to something a little bit bigger. I'll take that one out. And I can see we're not 100% on centre, but hopefully we will do all right. This is uh, this is uh, beryllium copper, um, so you do have to take care when you're working on this. I'm going to use a um, uh, a ball nose unit now, just to see if I can I can have a bit better look at the centre. Slower than that, and the other one. The, the, the beauty of being able, of doing this job directly on a mill is is your control is far greater. I have no idea what depth this is. Um, we're working in the dark here because information hasn't been supplied. We still seem to be bringing out a little bit of steel. And that seems to be the end of it now. So, as I've said in the past always, the most important thing is when you, whenever you're um, trying to get her out, is to get through the stud, the screw, the bolt, whatever it is, the pin. Today, this morning, by the way, I had to I had to get out a um, a dowel pin. They're very very hard, and um, that wasn't the, we didn't have the greatest success there. But we went to Plan B. So now I'm going to try and get down a bit deeper with um, one of these two flute cutters. And see if I can get through with this two fluter. You still there? Oh, you are good. Um, this is dedicated to Stan, the man who believes that 
he could punk me, and he did, and he did it well. Okay, I'm through. So we're through now. I'm going to go down a little bit. Give us a little bit more room. You won't see it from there, but I'm not far off the centre, in fact. Um, so now I'm going to have a look at what that, what I reckon that should be. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a larger ball nose and I'm going to machine that fracture so I can see what the, uh, what I believe will is the, um, is the peripheral of the thread and so forth and get a better feel for what that, um, what the size of that screw that's in there um, that is uh, that is broken off. So what I'm trying to do is to expose the thread below and the periphery of that screw, uh, which I've managed to do. And now what I'm going to do is see if I can get a measurement of that. Um, I'm using I'm using this um, this chuck, this ball bearing chuck. Uh, it's quite accurate. It, it's um, you do have to be wary of it though because it can because it's a ball bearing arrangement it can float. So uh, normally, uh, I mean particularly if I had to be very extremely accurate, I wouldn't be using this at all. I'd be using uh, the collets. But this, by the way, is a 5C collet chuck block. Uh, and I've used that to hold this in so I don't damage that spool. Well, what I'm trying to do is just to see if I can see what this is. Um, so that's 5.2, so I would say this is probably it's a, probably a number 10 or a number 12 uh, um, unit, so we'll have a look and see what size hole I need to drill for that. I'm going to try and get the thread, drill it out to the thread point, and then, um, and then go from there. So a number 10 is 3.9, a number 12 is 4.5, so I'm going to go for the 3.9 mil and see what we come up with. 3.9 which is the tapping size and I would say it's bigger than that. But um, we'll get a bit more room there. So I'm not even trying to get the bolt out as a bolt. What I'm doing, what I'm trying to do, is to get to a point where I'll have uh, a tap and use the tap to clean the thread out. That's the plan. That's plan A. Okay, we're through with that side, that tapping size, and we're not in the periphery yet. So we'll go up to the next tapping size. Um, a little bit of progress from time to time rather than trying to bite the bullet and do it on, on hearsay can only, can only bring you uh, good results. So a 4.5 is a number 12 and this being, most of this stuff is, is uh, imperial anyway. Um, so what I said is 4.5. Um, we'll, try, we'll try that one and see what that that brings us a bit more depth. The drill bit's a little bit on the dull side.
boxes of, of drills. And, you know, we'll just give this a quick flick with a um, Flick on the on the drill on the, um, the white stone, and we're away. Okay. Well, that's a number 12. We might be heading towards a quarter here, but I'm going to take a number 12 uh, tap and we're going to see what that does. There we go. We have our getter out. Uh, hopefully you can see that all right. We've um, we've got her. She's on the end of the tap. Now one thing I must have mentioned here is when we're doing things like this, um, we don't use full taper taps. We only use uh, a number two or a, um, a, a, a medium tap. We do not use um, a number one or a full taper tap. They are bound to, to break. They are a problem. But here we are. We have success. We've um, got another getter out on the way. And uh, we'll have a, have a little glass for that tonight.